Just caught a pretty cool one. Calico lobster. Yellow spots on it. We caught a bunch of these last year, but we haven't got many this year. All right, we're back at it. It's going to be similar to the last few videos. We're starting on the morn. we got to pull in, grab a little bit of bait, and we're headed out. We're going to haul our 400 today, our 400 tomorrow, assuming we get no more curveballs thrown at us tomorrow. Not much sleep. Actually, I did get... I shouldn't say that, because if Ashley watches me say I didn't get much sleep last night, she'll be pretty mad, because she let me get some sleep. The baby and her didn't get much sleep. She knew I had to go to haul today, so she let me get a little bit of sleep. I suspect I'll pay for it one of these nights. We're going to get to it. <laughs> Got a pretty cool one, calico lobster. Yellow spots on it. We caught a bunch of these last year, but we haven't got many this year. We got like four or five of them last year. When they're males, we'll actually bring them in and give them away to aquariums, colleges. Flew one down to Portland last year, dropped one off the University of New England. This one's actually a female, so we are actually able to give her a notch. She doesn't have eggs, but we're gonna give her a notch anyway, just to keep her in the ocean. Keep her unique genes in the ocean, maybe she'll breed. Make some babies that look like this and somebody else can catch it. Pretty cool. There she goes. Oh, she let it go. We're about 150 traps into the day. We just got this one. I don't know if the camera will really pick up on it, but it's pretty interesting. Pale colored. Underneath its claws are really light. This one's actually a keeper. Pretty cool. So a lot of people ask what we eat for lunch on the boat, what we bring for food. We do have a microwave, so we bring leftover food occasionally, but most of the time it's just sandwiches, wraps, pre-made salads, whatever we can find that's easy to eat on the boat. We usually don't take a lot of time to eat. We pretty much just eat while we're fishing. So small bags of chips, anything easy, small cook. doesn't have any eggs and she has an old notch. She's pissed off. I don't know what it is. The females are always much more pissy than the males. She has an old notch. We're going to freshen it up for her. She shed most of it out, but we're going to send her home. We can't let her go without a piece of herring. We'll be in trouble. Cody's fault if we ever let one go without a herring. Don't put that on me. There she goes. Paper bag. Paper bag is a lobster that has just shed its shell. You can see it's very soft, very squishy, has no shell. If your new lobsters actually grow through a shedding process, like a snake or a lizard, they have no strength when they're a fresh shed like this. They basically just lay on bottom and wait to harden up. The smaller ones will shed once a year, the bigger ones will go multiple years without shedding, and they can actually regrow their limbs during this process as well. So if they lose a claw or a leg, each shed they'll grow a little bit bigger, newer one back. Nice little codfish. According to Noah, those things are all but extinct. There is none left in the Gulf of Maine, but if you take a fishing rod and you come out here and you go on any hard spot you want, you can drop a jig down and catch them one right after another. 15, 20 years ago, maybe the stock was depleted, but today they've come back really good. They've made a great recovery, and they're a 
tons and tons of small codfish on every little piece of hard bottom come across. We don't catch them a lot in our traps because we don't typically fish up on the hard bottom, but if we intentionally set traps up there, we would consistently catch codfish, and if you took a rod and reel with jigs, you would consistently catch codfish. Big old granddaddy. Big male. Oversized. He's got a little pincher claw and a real nice crusher claw. You see his crusher claw right here. This is a better example of a Keith claw and a Jacob claw. The one in the last video wasn't that great. This is a better example of it. <laughs> Cute little thing. <laughs> Got one covered in barnacles. Bunch of them. Right on his forehead, on his claws, knuckles. These ones are growing right in his knuckles. I don't know why. They always seem to grow in the knuckles. I don't really get that. We noticed the pattern. I never paid too much attention to barnacles until we figured out how obsessed you guys were with them. Now we don't let any go. They all must die. I'm gonna get rid of this one right on his head. Oh. In case anybody was wondering and you missed the last video, barnacles have the largest penis to body ratio in the animal kingdom. Did you know that, Griffin? Did you no. see that video? No. Their penis is eight times the size of their body. In case you were wondering. Now you know. Feel like me. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a snack. He's gonna go find a woman. Comes the last one of the day, number 400. We had pretty good time, it's noon time, 10 minutes to 12. Oftentimes people ask why we leave so early, especially when we're getting in early. We only really get in early when everything goes smooth and perfect. But a lot of days, things don't go perfectly, don't go smoothly. Run into hiccups throughout the day. And on those days we get in more like two or three o'clock. If it's bad weather or foggy or who knows? There's a lot of variables that can slow the day down. So we always leave pretty early just to account for any variables that could come along, any curveballs. Best case scenario, we're in early. There she goes! Last one of the day. See ya! Alright, 12.30, we're back in the harbor. We're headed in to have lunch. We gotta pull in. Just like in the last videos, we're gonna sell our lobsters, send them up the conveyor belt. We gotta put a little bait on. Get some fuel for tomorrow. We'll be back bright and early first thing in the morning. We're gonna do separate videos. We're gonna try to do a video for each day as long as enough interesting stuff happens throughout the day. If it's a boring, not so exciting day, we'll combine two days into one. But, but bear with us as we figure this out in the first few videos. Uh, we're hoping that we can stick with the schedule of making one video per day. So we'll see you tomorrow.